Welcome back. In this video, we'll be talking about blood brain barrier components and certain substances' reaction with the blood brain barrier. So, as we all know, the nervous system is composed of neurons, and these neurons are never in direct contact with the blood. They have the astrocytes in between the neurons and the blood vessels. So, basically, the astrocytes takes the nutrition from the blood vessel and gives it to the neurons. And this is in short what blood brain barrier is. It's the astrocytes feet touching the blood vessel and delivering the nutrition to the nervous system. So the astrocyte is highly selective in what materials to go in and what materials to not go in. So if you want to see the layers that makes the blood brain barrier, from the blood side, from the vessel side, we can have the blood and then we can have the endothelial cells and the basement membrane in which the endothelial cells lie and finally the astrocyte feet. These are the layers that makes the blood-brain barrier. So any substance that wanna go from the blood into the nervous tissue, it must pass through all these four structures. So there are two main ways for any substance to go through the blood-brain barrier, either through diffusion or through uptake. So obviously diffusion is gonna be much faster than uptake because diffusion doesn't require any effort from the astrocyte themselves. And this includes lipids and nonpolar ions and uptake, which is much slower than diffusion because it requires the astrocytes to, up, to actively uptake the substances from the blood, and this includes glucose and amino acids. So you can say that the entire nervous system is never in direct contact with the blood, and there is no direct contact between a neuron and a blood vessel, except for these three areas, and they are postrema, which is in the medulla, which is responsible for nausea and vomiting in patients taking chemo because chemo will touch the posterior and the medulla and this will induce vomiting. Neurophysis in the pituitary gland, in the posterior pituitary gland specifically, and this is where the ADH and oxytocin is released into the blood. And finally, organism vasculosum lamina terminalis, which is right next to the pituitary gland and this senses the blood osmolarity. So these are the three main areas of the nervous system that are in direct contact with the blood that you need to know. And everything else is covered by blood-brain barrier. Alright guys, so that's everything I've got today. Hopefully I made this easier for you and yeah, see you guys later.